Hey guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Nick. Today we're talking all about apps for your iPhone or Android to help you with your landscape photography. Let's roll that intro. All right, welcome guys. Like I said, we're gonna be talking about uh, apps for your iPhone or Android that will uh, hopefully take your landscape photography to the next level. Um, before we get into it, uh, I'd sure appreciate it if you guys like, subscribe, and turn on that little bell notification. Um, it would really support my channel and help me out. So if you guys can do that, you're awesome. All right, let's dive into this. First one I have here is, uh, it's called YR. Uh, what this will do is, uh, it, it, it kinda, it's kind of like a weather app. Um, it'll give you a whole bunch of information with regards to what it feels like, sunrise, sunset. Uh, it gives you a nice little breakdown of what the weather's supposed to be like. Uh, I think it's like from eight to 12, 12 to six, six to 12. Um, it, it's overall just a, a nice app to, to kind of kind of get you started here. So yeah, it, it shows you uh, these nice little graphs, their pressure info, winds, all that good stuff. And oh my goodness, I am not at the Super 8. I'm at my house. <laughs> okay, so yeah, that's YR. I use this just to kind of give me a little glimpse of what the day is supposed to be bringing. Um, it's a free app on the App Store, so it's, it's pretty good. Moving on to the next one, my tides. Now, with me being uh, in Alberta, Canada, we're kind of landlocked. We don't really have a bunch of tides coming in, so let's uh, let's zoom out here, and then we can see all of these uh, little pin drops here along the coast. This will um, tell you exactly when uh, tides are supposed to be at their highest and at their lowest. Let's pop into here at uh, Campbell River here. So at 5.12 or 5.52 in the morning, low tide. Uh, 1.12, high tide, so on and so forth. Kind of gives you a little breakdown of uh, um, when the sun is supposed to be uh, rising and setting. Um, it'll give you uh, moon phases. And yeah, I mean, this is fantastic if you want to get right down low where the uh, tide is out, get those awesome, uh, coastline shots and then stuff like that. So this is perfect just to, to help you guys out when you need to know when the tide is going to be out and when to stay away. Don't go in high tide. <laughs> You'll get wet. Next one, probably one of my favorites. It's called Magic Hour. So upon uh, watching this, uh, it'll give you at the bottom here uh, where it says sunrise at 7.23, it began at 6.48 and will end at 8.09. The time of recording this, it's uh, 7.51 in the morning, so there's about 18 minutes left. Uh, as you can see, it says magic hour starts, or is happening now. It'll give you that little countdown timer to get those awesome sunrise clouds. Uh, it'll give you the perfect timing, basically, just to get out there, get your camera set up get those unbelievable sunrise and sunset photos. So the next sunset is at 641 today, or it begins at 641, right where it's kind of in the middle, it's 727 and 8, 802, that's when it's gonna be dark. This time of year, where it starts to get dark at like four or five, and that's coming in the next couple of months, but that's Canada for you. The next the next little part here, it uh, kind of gives you a breakdown of your sunlight versus darkness uh, in your location. Over the 24 hours, you have about 10 hours, 10 and a half hours of uh, sunlight, 10 and a half hours darkness-ish. And then yeah, this next part here, it'll show you an actual graph of where the sun is going to be and where the moon's going to be. And it's just an overall fantastic app. one Medio Earth. No lie, we are in Berlin today. 
How about no? Let's get back to Canada. All right, so this one is actually pretty good. So uh, this one actually kind of gives you uh, your cloud cover. So if you swipe up, uh, you can actually enable where you want to see. You want to see low clouds, you click on this bottom one. You want to see uh, um, medium clouds, like medium height or whatever, that's uh, where you click on this, and then high clouds are there. So this is perfect just to see where uh, the cloud cover is going to be. Okay, so there you go. It kind of gives you a little animation of where the cloud is going to be uh, between day and night. So um, it, it's actually really, really cool. Um, you can also enable uh, the, uh, the wind factor and see where the wind is gonna be coming from. And a nice little animation here to see where the wind is going to be. If so yeah, it's, it's a fantastic little app here and it's free. I mean, they could get away with charging for this stuff. So <laughs> good. Everybody's favorite, Google Earth. So I use this app just to kind of give me a bird's eye view of where I'm going. It'll kind of plan or help me plan out the, the trip or the day. If there's like a hidden gem of a, of a place to, to be to photograph a, a lighthouse or a waterfall, and this is kind of my go-to. Get a bird's eye view, glimpse into where I'm going if I'm not familiar with the place. So yeah, that's uh, Google Earth. I'm sure everybody's familiar with it, but I do use it quite often just to make sure that uh, I know where I'm going and uh, what the surrounding area of where I'm going looks like and just kind of helps me plan out, uh, plan out the day. So I think that, uh, that'll wrap it up for today. Uh, those are the apps that I use currently for helping me with my landscape photos and I'm sure if you download a few of these, especially Magic Hour, uh, they'll definitely help you with your landscape photos. So um, I'm going to leave it at that. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. It'll help the channel out and uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Hey guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Nick. Today. Hey guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Nick. Yeah. No, it's funny. Um, <laughs> all these little takes and whatnot. I had no problems and no uh, little blips or whatever what I was trying to say when I was DJing and, and talking in front of like five, six, seven, sometimes a thousand people. I just kind of got what I was gonna say in my head and then same thing with this, except it's a little different. It's just me and the camera. That's kind of weird. I'm not used to just talking to myself like there's nobody down here right now. Everybody's still sleeping and I'm just talking to myself. A little weird, but I'll get used to it. Hey guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Nick. I... <laughs> oh man, this is super weird. No, oh, then there's my cat. And there she is again. One more go. How many more of these do I have to drink? <laughs> it's too early in the morning for this. <laughs>